Of all the various types of floor coverings, carpets are the most decorative. They also possess excellent anti-slip properties and are more forgiving regarding falls and breakages. But since carpets are made from a wide variety of materials, we must ensure that the correct cleaning method is used so that we don't damage or shrink them. You need to know about the construction and style of a carpet in order to clean it effectively, particularly if you're going beyond a simple vacuum clean. And remember, as with all floor cleaning, when vacuuming, you should always use safety signs to alert people to the potential dangers of trailing cables and of machinery in use. And if your cleaning involves liquids, keep the signs up until the carpet is completely dry to prevent slipping. Looking at vacuuming first, a commercial upright vac gets best results on carpets since the brush unit opens the carpet pile and helps lift the dust particles and removes the maximum amount of dirt. A tub vac is one of the most popular choices in the industry as they are light, very easy to use and are relatively economical to buy. A spot or stain on a carpet can ruin its overall appearance, so it's important that we know how to remove them effectively without damaging the carpet. A specialist product such as Jangro Spot and Stain Remover should be used. Always test the carpet on a discrete area to ensure the dyes used in the carpet fibre are stable and not going to run when a chemical is applied. To do this, spray a white towel or rag with the product and press it into the carpet for 30 seconds and then inspect for signs of colour transfer. If no transfer occurs, then it's safe to proceed. Start by spraying the chemical onto a clean white towel or rag. Then blot the stain, always working from the outside inwards to the middle, so as not to spread the stain any more as you work. Never spray the product directly onto the carpet, as your aim may not be the best. And never rub the stain, as this might result in the stain being locked into the fibres permanently. And bear in mind that sometimes an old stain may be impossible to remove. Bonnet buffing is a great method to use for a quick and easy maintenance clean of a low-profile carpet and carpet tiles. For this, we need a good vacuum cleaner, such as the Jangro Upright that has a brush on it, plus a slow-speed rotary buffing machine, a carpet bonnet mop, a pump-up sprayer, and Jangro Dry Foam Carpet Cleaner. To begin, thoroughly vacuum the carpet. Then fill a 5 or 10 litre pump-up sprayer with water and Jangro Dry Foam Carpet Cleaner mixed at the correct dilution rate. Pump the sprayer and liberally spray an area of carpet no more than 3 square metres. Any more than this and the solution could dry before you begin cleaning. The nozzle on the sprayer should be set to fan the chemical rather than jet the chemical for even coverage. Place the bonnet mop under the machine in the same way as you would with a floor pad, then ensure sufficient solution is applied to the bonnet mop using a sprayer or a bucket and wringer. Finally, start to buff the carpet in the area that has been sprayed. Additional solution can be applied using the tank on the machine as required. Work from the furthest point in the room back towards the exit. The bonnet mop should be washed or changed regularly throughout the task, once both sides have been used. Once the carpet is dry, thoroughly vacuum to remove any encapsulated dirt. Extraction cleaning is where a solution is sprayed onto a carpet to capture the dirt, and then a machine sucks up the dirty solution. This method is also called a deep carpet clean. To begin, Thoroughly vacuum the carpet. Spot clean the carpet to remove any obvious spots and stains before starting with the machine. Any heavily soiled traffic areas should be pre-sprayed with Jangro Traffic Lane Carpet Cleaner to break down heavy soiling. Then fill the extraction machine with warm water and Jangro Extraction Solution mixed at the correct dilution rate. 
Starting from the furthest point in the rim, pull the wand back towards you in a slow, steady fashion like this. On each pass of the wand, slightly overlap the previous pass so as not to miss any of the carpet. However, be careful not to overwet the carpet as this may cause it to shrink when it dries. Then open any windows and doors to allow as much airflow as possible to assist with drying the carpet. Go on, take a bow, Kirsty. Well done.